I'm Justin Stewart with Arizona Dairy Company. We're in Mesa, Arizona. The dairy actually started in 1973 with my father-in-law and his brother. They were farmers back in uh, post-World War II, and they were farming here in Mesa and in Gilbert and selling all their commodities to dairymen. Well, back in the early 70s, they decided, you know, we might as well sell the commodities to ourselves. So they formed Arizona Dairy Company in 1973. And then in about 1983, about 10 years later, they doubled the size of Arizona Dairy and built the south half. So at that time, uh, we went up to milking about 5,000 cows. I was actually in the military for about 10 years in the Navy. And when we decided to get out of the Navy and come home to Arizona, there was an opportunity. And the opportunity was to get to know the farm and get to know the dairy and get to know my father-in-law and what he was about and work with him. So it was really all on the job training. <laughs> Every single day, sun up to sundown. One of the most rewarding parts is to see the teams working together. This is a large dairy, milking 6,500 cows three times a day. So to get that to feel like it's one unit and everyone working together, that takes a pretty good coach. I felt like if we could get each department and treat it as a team, and to see those teams work together for the common goal of making high quality milk, to me, that's success. We're the only dairy in the state of Arizona that has its own on-site in vitro fertilization lab where we run all of our elite genetics. For our herd, we take the top five to 10% of our animals based on TPI, net merit, utter composite, feet and legs, and take the very best composites and say, hey, they must be the very best. That's one of our tools that we use with genetics, and let's make more of her. Through classification and through Holstein and, and making that schedule and sticking to that three times a year or more, that's what benefits us going forward to have better cows. How can you have a better cow if you don't even identify them? Our version of the perfect cow is a cow that lasts a long time, that is extremely low input. She's the quiet cow, that silent cow. She doesn't require a lot of attention, but yet she breeds back every single year. She makes it to the milk parlor day in and day out, three times a day. She produces that high quality butter fat and protein and the high volumes that Holsteins are known for. Last year was a really good year in the sense that we had some of our highest milk peaks in our fresh cow pen and our breeding cow pen and our young heifer pens, higher than we've ever seen. We had some peaks around 95 pounds with a 3.6 butter fat, 3.7 butter fat, 3.8 butter fat, and to get an average of 3.4, 3.5 protein out of those cows, I could see the change happening little by little and to breed better cows and to eventually see that in the bulk tank when you're shipping 50, 60,000 gallons out of the farm a day, it takes a long time to make a difference and to make a change. And little by little, when you see the individual cow's performance increase and then start to move the needle in the bulk tank, it really is helpful. And then to have those cows breed back right away and come into their second lactation and then their third lactation and you see the performance staying or getting better, that's what makes a difference. Pays to have really good genetics. Yes. When you get heavily involved in raising these calves, there becomes a bond and an attachment. And the girls and the kids, they just love to show that off and love to compete and take our animals to see uh, out to the shows and to see how well they compare to everything else. Having the grandchildren be out there on the road and, and showing has introduced them to a massive amount of people. And really that's what it's all about, is the relationships. It's a lot of fun for me and my family to walk our two-year-old pens and say, wow, this looks a lot different than it did 10 years ago. It takes a long time, a really long time to make these animals. And so that's the goal, is to make the very best cow that we can for us in Arizona.